So here the iron booth and uh, yeah. what, what are you showing here? And um, what we're showing here is connected day. Uh, we've got bits of arm technology in, in all sorts of objects. So obviously we are well known for being inside smartphones, uh, but we've got some IoT type uh, devices as well. So this is a bit, uh, it's a bit of fun, but just showing some possibilities of the way that your um, your world could interact with you. you know, it's with like a smart home. Well, sort of a smart home. Yeah, it's it's got some different IoT type devices which are connected using Cortex microcontrollers and wireless together. So it's some kind of you know, uh, some ideas of, of things that could be the case, you know, when we've got all this connectivity and little devices with a bit of intelligence in them. Um, so, I mean, we've just got different parts of our day. Um, first of all, if I'm leaving home in the morning, uh, as I'm going out the door, um, the system will work, work out that it's stood on the mat and it checks the weather and it's told me here that um, it's, it's raining, so it's made my umbrella stand light up and ping to, uh, to let me know that I need to take my umbrella. If the weather was nice outside, then it might make my hat uh, over there, uh, jump up and down. Jump up and down? Oh, I just move up and down. That's cool. Um, so I leave for work, uh, and uh, yeah, I arrive at work. Now, your arms powered smartphone is obviously, you know, it's a very powerful device now. There's a lot of processing power here. Um, it could be the only computing device you need to own. And we've explored that with this demo here. So what we do is we take the phone, and we put it down on the wireless charging uh, on the desk here. Underneath, there's a wireless charging pad, um, and what that does when the phone senses it's charging, it pairs to this keyboard and mouse using Bluetooth, and it also pairs to the screen uh, using you know wireless uh, technology. That's awesome. Uh, and what it also does is it rearranges the desktop here uh, so that we resize the icons uh, so that they're more appropriate for people using a keyboard and mouse. Uh, and also, is know, that like a new home for Android, a home replacement, or is it loading a different UI? How did you did you hack a little bit Android to do this? We did some work, yeah, under the um, uh, with Android just to make this happen. I mean, this is rotating the screen, and it's also changing some of the DPI settings, um, but it's also changing the mode that some of the APKs are opening in. If I open Gmail here, for instance. Uh, you will see the you tablet see, you mode, get the right? tablet mode, right? Yeah. So when you, I mean, the uh, apps will open up. So if I, I can do some word processing on this, I could do some spreadsheets, that kind of thing. Uh, if I go to my the launcher uh, just here, uh, then you can see it's laid out here, you know, in an efficient and way. And at the same time, it's charging. It's just a table. It's just well, the table with the yeah, special the charger on it. Yeah, exactly. Um, but if I show you, say I go back to Gmail. But uh, basically, you just have a wireless charger. That's it. Wireless charger underneath there, and then we've you know obviously there's the, the rest is uh, what what do you have in here? There's a, so there's a America like an Altair cast device here, so that's a wireless display yeah. device, um, which you you know you can do screen mirroring already from devices. So we're just using this technology in a different way. And you changed a little bit in here, right? Yeah, we've 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 um, um, done some work in here to make it work in this way to for this application. It's just Bluetooth keyboard mouse. Yeah, exactly. Cool. And um, if I show you, for example, I'll, I'll open Gmail again. Right, so we've got our double um, pane here to make the best use of the screen resolution. Now, if I say I'm going off to lunch or I'm going off to, um, you know, for the end of the day, if I pick up the, um, the phone, then it'll reconfigure itself back to being a phone and say Gmail there will configure itself back to the phone uh, nice. version because obviously when you're using your finger, you need bigger targets. Uh, um, so it's, you know, one device for your whole day. You don't necessarily need a desktop yeah. um, machine there. You can just use this instead. Cool. Um, so if I move on, you know, move to my um, my lounge for the evening and sit down uh, to watch some TV. There's a, a pressure sensor in the uh, in the seat here, and what it does is that automat that talks back um, the microcontroller and the pressure sensor talks back to the system, and it allows you it tells the phone to convert into a remote control. Um, so I didn't launch that myself; it launched automatically, and this is now the um, you know the remote control for the TV. Is it Bluetooth? Uh, right, so this, I think, it can use the IR blaster in the top here, but there's also, you know, this is connected to the Wi-Fi network, so I think it sends some commands using uh, using the network because this is connected via Ethernet underneath here. Um, so awesome. So, so this is the vision of the future where everything is just, like, seamless. Exactly. So this is the tagline here. So it's seamless computing. Um, adding a little bit of intelligence and connectivity to everyday devices, uh, everyday objects, not even devices, to make them act in a more intelligent way. And to do this, uh, ARM is collaborating with a bunch of people to kind of like make a, not really a consumer chip, but like kind of like make things compatible or? Well, I mean, I'll just get up again. When I, when I get up here, this will turn off automatically and it'll reconfigure my phone. 
Um, I mean, so here what we're using, we're using different um, bits of technology, so our embed, um, embed platforms from different companies like NXP, Freescale, and ST. Uh, here, so we've got different embeds um, doing different uh, jobs with the sensing and the actuator, actuators. Um, but we're also working with, you know, this demo uses stuff from a company called Photonstar, and they do connected light bulbs. Uh, so if I turn on, say, my Kindle, I'm going to bed, I want to do a bit of reading before I sleep, I turn on my Kindle here, and it will turn on my reading light. Uh, there. Now the reading light, um, this is an LED bulb and it uses um, six low pan uh, technology to Thanks. be networked. So I turn that off again uh, here and it will turn the light down. There that's we go. Cool. And that's the end of my connected day. That's really cool. Alright. So uh, in like a, a year or two everybody is going to have this at home? Well, I mean, I think we've got, now that there'll be, you know, there's... IoT is really gaining a lot of momentum, and there, are, there, are, you know, people are doing innovative things around connected houses and connected devices. So yeah, we could have, you know, all sorts of stuff. So we just wanted to, you know, start some discussions about what potentially you could do uh, as part of your, you know, connected day. And it's just a regular smartphone, but just configuring the home a little bit differently. Yeah, there is also some. So we have the embed microcontrollers. Um, so you can see some of these here. So down, we've, we've made it so that you can see some of this stuff. Yeah. Now this is a development board, but in yeah. reality that that could shrink very very small. Um, obviously it's just it's that size because yeah. it's a development board. These all have Wi-Fi modules to talk that back to a hub. Yeah. And then we've got a, an ARM single board computer making decisions based on what these sensors send back. And this the um, the sensor boards are using um, some software called Sensinode, which uh, which ARM has. Um, to allow them to report back um, nice. all the stuff. Do you have all this stuff in your home? <laughs> I don't at the moment, <laughs> no? uh, but right. uh, it's a rented flat. But so. it needs to be like that, right? Uh, all the ARM employees need to be dog fooding this. We like do. You, you need to have all this stuff. Well, we do try and, Every home. We try and use as much stuff as possible. We really do try and, you know, and, um, and use as much of the stuff as we can and try it out. Because it's important, like you say, that we know, uh, we know how it performs.